Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. And the internet for almost everything. From online shopping and banking to social media and email, our daily activities are deeply embedded in the digital realm. They are the keys to our online kingdoms, guarding our emails, bank accounts, social media profiles, and much more. Without them, our digital lives would be exposed to countless risks. Without strong passwords, we become vulnerable to a plethora of cyber threats. Hackers are constantly on the lookout for weak points to exploit. Imagine someone gaining access to your email account. The consequences could be devastating. They could read your private messages, steal your identity, and even access other accounts linked to your email. Password cracking is the art of attempting to gain unauthorized access to a system by guessing or deciphering a user's password. While it can be used for malicious purposes, it is also an essential tool for security professionals to test system vulnerabilities. There are various methods employed in password cracking, ranging from simple brute force attacks to more sophisticated techniques utilizing dictionaries and rainbow tables. Brute force attacks involve systematically trying every possible combination of characters until the correct password is found. Dictionary attacks, on the other hand, use a list of commonly used passwords, while rainbow tables pre-compute hashes of common passwords to speed up the cracking process. Understanding these techniques is crucial for building stronger defenses and appreciating the importance of robust password security measures. Hydra is a powerful and versatile password cracking tool widely used by security professionals and ethical hackers. It is a network login cracker that supports a wide range of protocols, making it an incredibly versatile tool. Hydra's strength lies in its ability to automate the process of testing different username and password combinations against various services, including FTP, SSH, Telnet, and HTTP. It can also perform dictionary attacks, brute force attacks, and even use rainbow tables to speed up the cracking process. Hydra's flexibility and efficiency make it an indispensable tool for penetration testers and security enthusiasts looking to assess the strength of their systems. Before you can start cracking passwords with Hydra, you need to set up your environment. This involves installing Kali Linux, a Debian-based operating system specifically designed for penetration testing and security auditing. Kali Linux comes pre-installed with a wide range of security tools, including Hydra, making it an ideal platform for practicing ethical hacking. To install Kali Linux, you can download the ISO image from the official website and create a bootable USB drive or DVD. Once you have Kali Linux installed, you can install Hydra using the following command in the terminal. With Hydra installed, you are ready to start exploring its capabilities and learn the art of ethical password cracking. Section 5. Hydra in Action – Cracking Your First Password Now that you have Hydra installed, let's walk through a basic example of how to use it to crack a password. Hydra is a powerful tool used by ethical hackers to test the security of various services by attempting to guess passwords. Remember, ethical hacking requires permission and should only be performed on systems you own or have authorization to test. Unauthorized hacking is illegal and unethical. For this example, let's assume you have a vulnerable FTP server running on your local network and you want to test its security. FTP servers are common targets for hackers due to their often weak security configurations. You can use Hydra to perform a dictionary attack against the FTP service using a list of common passwords. A dictionary attack involves systematically entering every word in a predefined list of potential passwords. The basic syntax for using Hydra is straightforward. You need to specify the target username, the path to your password list, the IP address of the target server, and the service you are targeting. Replace the placeholder with the target username, with the path to your password list, with the path to your password list, which contains the potential passwords Hydra will try, with the IP address of the target server, which is the location of the FTP server you are testing, and finally, with the service you are targeting, in this case, FTP. 
Hydra will then systematically try each password from the list until it finds a match, granting you access to the target system. This process can take some time, depending on the length and complexity of your password list. Section 6. Unleashing the Power of Hydra – Advanced Techniques While the basic usage of Hydra is relatively straightforward, it also offers a wide range of advanced features and options that allow you to fine-tune your attacks and target specific systems and protocols. One such feature is the ability to specify the port number for the target service, allowing you to target non-standard ports. You can also use Hydra to perform brute force attacks, where it systematically tries all possible character combinations within a specified length. Additionally, Hydra supports various command line options to control the speed of the attack, the number of concurrent connections, and the timeout settings. Mastering these advanced techniques allows you to leverage the full potential of Hydra and conduct more sophisticated penetration testing assessments. Section 7. The White Hat Hacker – Ethical Considerations in Password Cracking It is crucial to remember that password cracking is a double-edged sword. While it can be a valuable tool for security professionals, it can also be used for malicious purposes. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use their knowledge for good, helping organizations identify and fix security vulnerabilities. They operate within the bounds of the law and always obtain proper authorization before conducting any security testing. Unethical hackers, on the other hand, use their skills for personal gain or to cause harm. They exploit vulnerabilities without permission, stealing data, disrupting services, and causing significant damage. It is essential to understand the ethical implications of password cracking and use this knowledge responsibly. Section 8. Building Fort Knox – Best Practices for Secure Passwords Now that you have a better understanding of password cracking and the tools used, let's discuss some best practices for creating strong, secure passwords that can withstand even the most determined attackers. In today's digital age, securing your online accounts is more critical than ever. Cybercriminals are constantly evolving their methods, making it essential to stay one step ahead. First and foremost, avoid using common words, phrases, or patterns that can be easily guessed. Passwords like password123 or QWERTY are among the first to be tried by attackers. Instead, opt for long, complex passwords that include a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. This makes it significantly harder for automated tools to crack your password. A good rule of thumb is to aim for a password length of at least 12 characters. The longer your password, the more difficult it is to break. Avoid reusing the same password across multiple accounts, as a breach in one account could compromise all your other accounts. Each account should have a unique password to ensure maximum security. Consider using a password manager, a secure application that stores and encrypts your passwords, making it easier to manage multiple complex passwords without having to remember them all. These tools can generate strong passwords for you and keep them safe, reducing the risk of human error. Section 9. Knowledge is power, use it wisely. A final note. Congratulations on taking your first steps into the world of ethical hacking and password cracking. You now have a basic understanding of how password cracking works, the tools used, and the importance of ethical considerations. Remember, knowledge is power, and it is your responsibility to use this newfound knowledge responsibly. Always obtain proper authorization before conducting any security testing, and never use your skills for malicious purposes. By using your knowledge for good, you can help make the digital world a safer place for everyone.